the next one is from King Khan, I guess. 164, I don't know how to say that. This was in reference to the 2006 Tucker Hort Science paper that I went over. Uh, when increasing mowing height resulted in increasing root length density, there's a paper that you can go back and look at the playlist. And at 38, 33 seconds, he asks, would you agree by letting, so you would agree by letting your turf grow tall before dormancy would help, would help it through the winter? And I forget what I replied back to him, but he's asking, you know, basically the, the paper, the, the Tucker Hort Science paper showed that increasing the height of cut also increased root length density and reducing the height of cut reduced root length density and so forth. And that's pretty established in the literature that the, the higher you cut the turf grass, generally the deeper the roots can go. And in general, what I would say to this comment is that whatever height of cut that you can cut it at the highest, that will result in whatever lawn is acceptable to you for that turf grass is where I would cut it. So if you're cutting tall fescue at say three inches and that's acceptable to you, then leave it alone. If it's not acceptable to you and you want to cut it lower, well, cut it lower if that's what you want to do. Just understand as you do that, you're increasing the, you're adding more and more stress to the plant because you're removing more and more leaf tissue, the, the tissue that it needs to photosynthesize and create photosynthates. So the lower and lower you cut it, think of it like this, the lower you cut the turf grass, the more and more stress you're going to impart upon that turf grass. And the higher you cut your turf grass, it's the less stress, but at some point you're gonna reach a point where it's no longer gonna be aesthetically acceptable to you. You know, you can't, if you had tall fescue at eight inches, which is what horse tracks will cut their grass at six to eight inches. For a home lawn, it's gonna be unacceptable. But for a horse track, they can't keep it at two or three inches because it'll just get ripped. It'll get, it'll get, it gets ripped now. But they need those roots and they need that turf growing as healthy as they can. So they'll cut it as high as possible uh, to maintain as much health as possible and growth as possible at that higher height of cut. So the same thing goes with this. So yes, I would agree that if you're going into dormancy and you want to in, reduce the chances or reduce the probability of having problems throughout the winter, um, you know, you may choose September, October to leave it at that higher height of cut. Don't cut it down lower. Okay. You don't want to lower the height of cut and impart more stress on the plant when you don't have to. And then, but that goes for any time of the year, not just winter time or whatever. Just keep it at the highest height of cut that results in your acceptable standard, whatever that is. 